And then, you know, let's uh, maybe start off with our uh, two pulley again. Let's just get our focus together. Hey, hey, oh my kai ke mai luna mai ye. So it's ten o'clock, and at some time soon, supposedly, the Lord will begin his journey up here. Uh, so we're not really clear exactly when they're coming, but we need to be prepared, stay focused at this point. We say Maka'ala, keep our eyes, uh, you know, uh, very watchful, uh, making sure that, uh, you know, all keiki are safe. And just some things about um, what may occur. We're not really sure exactly, of course, we don't know how many vehicles. Uh, we're not really sure uh, what the police presence may be like. But we expect it to be pretty similar to the last. Uh, what we plan to do, I think, is once we find out the, uh, they're on their way, we will take the center here with our lele, and we'll begin. Anybody wants to uh, make any offerings, any chants, any prayers to start at? And again, really, it's a couple of, to really show, to demonstrate again, that we are here, and that we are real, a real people, with a real culture and language, and we deserve to be treated as human beings, as Kanaka in our own lands. <clears throat> and so, while that is all going on, again, I want to make sure that you know we, as best as possible, on the Kapu Aloha. We keep the focus on the sentiment, which is Aloha Aina and Aloha for Haleakala. At some point, the police will ask us to step aside. Perhaps, most likely, we'll remove the lele. And at that point, those of you who have The notion, I don't know a better word to use, to participate, again, in a non-violent direct action, 
to do so. For those of you who want to chat, you should do so. Hold signs, you should do so. Document the interactions, please do so. Yeah, we respect and we admire all actions of Aloha that are performed. Uh, if someone maybe gets too upset or you, you think of someone maybe is going beyond Kapu Aloha, well, like on Mauna Kea, the Mauna Kea people know was a common melee we would use, and that's that E Aloha E. Yeah, everybody practice. E Aloha E. E Aloha E. Come up to that person. E Aloha E. Kind of just gather around that person. E Aloha E. And the same thing even in our interactions with the police. You know, I think we, again, that's the power of aloha. If there's anything can defeat greed, defeat dehumanization, defeat commodification, you know, it's aloha. Yeah. So, you know, at all times, that's something we always can use, and we always, you know, should be prepared to do so. Um, and uh, you had anything to report, Tiari, about anything you heard or what you know from? No, but they, I, I know that they're leaving soon. Yeah. That's just the last text I got. So, um, you know, one of the things I want to make sure is any any children under the age of 18, I know you feel, you might feel the mana to take some kind of action. But I would ask, I would just ask you guys to refrain from doing anything that might put you to get arrested. And that's because the police told us yesterday, they're talking CPS kind of stuff. Again, threats. Okay, so, you know, don't need to add more stress to your parents in all of this. Yeah, it's stressful, I tell you, you know. Our daughter, uh, the last time, because she's not a, she's an adult. You know, I mean, as a parent, whoa, now I know what my parents feel like. I mean, it's it's stressful, terribly stressful, you know. But it's it's, it's, a, it's an interesting kind of worry, and then you're also so proud. You know, I mean, proud beyond proud. Yeah, because you see the, rec the legacy of your own, our own family's commitment. So, and by as I tell my son, you know, your time will come. The time will come, yeah, and hopefully by then, you guys even get even better and bigger. You know, and, and you know, this we just planting the we just planting the, the first row of this lo'i. Yeah, we just re we're coming forward. We don't want to just clearing it out. Yeah, because the generations will come. Yeah, so whatever we do, we set the stone. We're setting stones perfectly, as best as we can. Yeah, so you can see. Uh, it seems like action is coming more and more. I see more. Police and dealing our officers passing by. So, um, uh, so um, for those of you who are, uh, you know, who are so-called, who have the notion that you know you may step forward, um, I would like uh, those of us that are legal observers to please raise your hand. Those that will be legal observers, so that. Anyone, you know, feel free to please come to us and give you, give us your information. Uh, not just your name, an emergency contact, and whether or not uh, you are staying in or getting bailed out because this is the information we can pass on to your emergency contact. If you drove a car, make sure that uh, you have, you know, a designated driver, someone to malama that because we don't want to leave anybody else's vehicles, anything up here that may get tampered with, that may get impounded, taken away, or what have you, because that's another stress that you do not need. Um, but those of us that are legal observers, we're there to make sure, you know, that what's going on, they do, they gotta do their job, but you know, within that doing of your job, we also want to make sure that your rights as individuals and what you're doing is still very much intact. And um, so that's the, that's the job for legal observers if they're not quite sure. 
uh, it's not to get involved and to try to push people separated but you know just making sure that our people know this is what is going on is this something that you're prepared for um, so you know we're gonna try to have eyes out on what's going on but we also as Kalikwa had said would like you to keep an eye on each other because we want to malama each other um, so you know when things start to occur if you want to come beforehand and speak to one of us um, so we can just make sure that we've got your uh, you know your information down please do just some yeah, sorry. just a base again so I remember like, just to catch up what, what we're doing when they are when they start to approach when it's time we'll make the call Go in the pool, set up the two lele, and they will ask, you know, if you can come and participate in our offering of lays and chants. And then, you know, at that point, we do what we need to do. Yeah. But again, all in safety. Safety, safety, safety. And couple, couple and again, yes, you know, parents, you know, keep close to your children also. Um, and, but I'm very proud and happy that they're here to witness and live this event. Leave this event. Anybody any questions? Anything? Yeah, I don't know. So if anybody have any questions about any nonviolent action or you're interested, you know, come and talk to me and stuff. And yeah, we can go figure it out. Okay, I don't know that. Mahalo. Let's just get ready and kind of just amass there and just get prepared as we get ready to go. Chief. Aloha ino yo. Aloha ina. Kuki aimauna. Kuki aimauna.
guys I just send you guys prayers out to us because I'm gonna shut down my phone after this never forget your love for one another never forget your love for one another in the words of Mano no so this is the road to go up to Haleakala
I just want to make it clear that everyone's here on their own terms because Brada over here when tried pin me the last time. So I just making that clear that everyone's here on their own terms. Right. Let me ask you folks something. So it's uh so it's actually on record here. Who is actually Nobody's, in charge? Nobody. No one's in charge. Ah, uh, I see. So your folks are claiming everybody is operating independently. Right Absolutely. Absolutely. And there is no quote unquote organizer and or leader. Oh. Very well. My message that I gave you folks regarding the laws still stand. It has to stand. Okay? With that being said, I'm going to ask you folks to consider obeying the law. So what it, what it, well, I, think, okay. I think, you know, a lot of these people kind of hear what is being said. Can I do it? So maybe, you know, I have, a sol I have the perfect solution for what you just said. We actually have a loudspeaker. A loudspeaker is loud enough so that I'm pretty sure everyone here is going to be able to hear the loudspeaker. Okay? So with that being said, after contact, the message cannot be destroyed. So with that being said, it's 3, it's 3.20 now. And I've already explained the law to you folks. Okay. With that being said, talk to you peeps. Let them know what I just did. We'll also have a loudspeaker to let you guys know the laws that we've just interpreted to you folks. And with that being said, we hope for a peaceful demonstration and move side of the room so we can get the mission complete. Thank you. Mahalo. almost 4 o'clock, um, 3.30, around there. Uh, we are waiting still at the Triangle intersection at King Kekalike. Uh, currently, the convoy is up here. Uh, they have, according to one of the officers in charge, allowed us to continue to be at the Lele and chant, but uh, we have been told that um, they will use a loudspeaker to try to disperse us and then come up physically and begin to actively disperse those who do not disperse after the loudspeaker announcement. So, uh, it's Kapu Aloha, you know, I mean, if people feel so inclined to continue to stand, they're going to do it and, um, and be proud of it. But you're living in hell. This is the Maui Police Department. Please leave the immediate area and allow vehicles to run away. We are standing, gathering, blocking the roadway.
Probably gonna lead to your arrest. Like these guys are gonna decide they're gonna get arrested, but it's up to you. I give you the option, you know. And I really respect what you guys are doing. I do, as a Hawaiian. I'm not on nobody's side, you know. I'm not even speaking rhetoric to you. But I'm not on nobody's side, you know? okay? You gonna stay this side, Auntie, or you gonna go this side? You gonna go this side? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, mom. You on the side, look. <laughs> I am. Is I am sad. Away. 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 Jalia, stay strong. Please step back. My baby. Please I will get it on video. I will get it on video. That's my baby. You guys touch it. You just mad because I'm telling you that you bend in his arm. That's just problem. Yeah, you guys. Ah, ole, porno. Ah, ole. Oh, 
Next time you guys go up there, next time your friends and family go, you guys remember this moment. We fight for all the stuff you guys can go enjoy. You think it's easy? You think we like doing this? You think we're having fun? Shame, you guys. Shame. You want it? Are you here? Go, Nakupuna. You guys can eat, eat your now. money. You guys get money. You guys can eat that. We work for all this stuff you guys get to enjoy. You guys go to the beach. You guys get to enjoy the mountain. You guys get to enjoy the rivers. And we gotta eat the end of it all. You guys just doing your job, you know. We're doing our job. Be heavy, son. Watch her arm, too. Don't just rip yeah, her. Yeah, watch my baby's arm. Watch her arm. <laughs> Move her up. I'm going to you step back a little bit. I, I'm going okay. to step back. Okay, I just want you to tell me your name, honey, on camera, please. Cecilia Ryan. See you right. And then the officers. Oh, would you mind? It's on my, it's on my name tag right here. It's on my name tag. You can go ahead and get it right now. I cannot. Yeah, right okay, he doesn't okay. want to say his name. But um, Gary, can you tell us your name? Your full name? For the record, Mea Kia Ke Kaua. In the area living building, sovereign of Kauai Paena, Apuni, government of Hana. Therefore, M in two names, and I live by it, and I am. And you know it, officer. The Gary Wood is a guy who Tell us your name. Hello, Aina. Now being a co op, it is. What it is? Jojo. Jojo Hendo. Tell me your name, love. Who is Aloha? Aloha. 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 He's back up. Tell me your name, please. Monica. Destroy and replace Tell the me your colonialism. Noilani, I hear. Tell me your name, please. Mahelani, I hear. You want to say your name? Here, good guy. Settler colonialism. Tell me your name, please. Carla Johnson. <laughs> Tell me your name. Kaukauhu Wahilani. Yeah, Kauka. Mahalo. I'm staying back. Stay back. I'm staying back. I'm getting their names like you guys got. Tell me your name, please. Give you Ulo Okalani, Ke Oho Kaku. Yeah. Tell me your name, please. Charles Shota Rivard. My bracelet broke. Tell me your name, please. Kai. Where am I? I'm right here. Honey, oh, how am I? Watch your step, watch your step, watch your step. Excuse me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tell me your name, please. Excuse me. Tell me your name, please. Kalei Kwa. Mahalo. No need. No need. Uh, you guys are coming in our space over here. You guys keep pushing us back. This is our space. 
You guys keep coming on our space. Uh, uh, ole. Don't move. We need to not move our line. They keep moving our line. We can't go anywhere else. Don't pass the white line. Oh, I should shut up. My babies are on there. Watch her arm. Don't pass away. Go away! Mahalo. So, looks like what they're doing right now is they're just moving them back and back out of the road so that they can get by with all the telescope stuff that is the reason why all of us people got here tonight because of what they're doing with these telescopes on our sacred Aina. Conservation district, right? Tallest, tallest building on Maui, conservation district. They're building right there. Aina. Aina. Kapu. All Hawaiians hold our Aina sacred. No. Uh, ole. All you standing, all you standing here tonight are witnessing what's going on. Our Aina, we stand as one. We stand against what's going on. Aloha Aina. Aloha Aina. Yeah, Jojo, I love you. Love you too, Shalia Henderson. You make me proud to be your mom, kids. They can do whatever they like. We're not going to forget. And we're going to keep reminding them that what they're doing is Heva. 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 James Cowley the said, to the last Aloha Aina. So don't think we feel defeated by this. Hold the line, boys. Uh -huh. It's just coming. We stood ground. We stood as Hawaiians. Yo, this feeds us. Every time we stand against wrong, every time we stand against Eva, we come stronger. So Yo. next time, we'll have twice as many people. Yo. And the time after that, Yo. three times as many. Yo. Yo. Aloha Aina! Aloha Aina! Aloha Aina! Aloha Aina! Aloha Aina! Aloha Allowing desecration to occur, to allow private corporations 
They continue to support this system, an illegal system. An illegal system. And they continue to desecrate our sacred mountains. Ah, ole! Ah, ole!
Stay back. Stay back.
off that truck. Look at us in the eyes. No deal. No, you just tell us that it's your body. Tell us. She's scared right now. She's scared her body. She's protecting something bigger than her right now. She wants to help you. Let her go over there. Let her go over to her. Let the mom help. That's not what people do! You protect your island! Putting all your weight on and not gonna calm her down, she's kinda scared. Why don't you tell me anything that you want? Do you understand what non-fighting is? That is an example. We're full of that. That is an example. Don't put her in a stray jacket. Yeah, she's not even acting like that. Don't put her in a stray jacket. You can't do that to her. Is it? Travis? She doesn't want to walk, so we have to carry her. Leah? Leah Ho'olohe. They did not win because you are here. You are here standing firm. And they have chosen. Those that they are have chosen to stand. To stand with their Stand They did not win. I'm not alone, I'm not alone. Right there, thank you. Go inside and we pass them to you. Here. Please sit back. I love you, Mia. Please step back for everybody's safety. Monica, are you okay? Please step back. 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 Please it's good, he's breathing. It's good. Shalia, you okay? Now. Kelly. Turn the ship, I can get a wrist. Mm. Guys, be okay. Huh? I don't know where Jojo is. I don't know where they put Jojo. I'll find him. We gotta wait for the speaking to come up first. Hey, hello. Hey, hey, you don't have jurisdiction to touch anybody. Hey, hey, do not touch her. Hey, bye. Don't touch her. He does not have jurisdiction to touch her. Do not touch her. Jojo, you in here, bud? Yep. You okay, babe? Hello, everybody. I didn't get that. I was so busy following you guys. Oh, he was on. He was under the break. I saw him. That's very lucky. With the return message, no, I got to call you. Mom freaked out. Nah, when I came out, if you never told me. Yeah, you got to. I was like, no, I don't like anybody. I was gonna get hit with more charges. No, I said Hawaii. Kai, it's Auntie Malia. 
Kai? Can you hear my voice, buddy? Kai? Hey. Kai, can you hear my voice? Can you hear my voice, buddy? Listen to my voice, Kai. Did they hit him? Kai, can you hear my voice, babe? Kai. Kai, can you hear Auntie? Is he okay? Yes, yes, yes. I'm with him. Get off my mountain! Get off my island! Go home! You two go home! Get in. 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 Did, 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 did no, because, Kai, Kai, can you hear us? Kai, Kai, can you hear us, Kai? <laughs> Kai, are you thirsty? You want some water? If Auntie got water, will you drink water, buddy? Kai? Kai, my Kai. Kai, you stay with us, Kai. How come they have everybody here but an ambulance? But they should have been here with you guys. The whole police force is here. Why not the ambulance? That's neglect. Kai, you want something to drink, Kai? Transfer, move on. Good job. Huh? Jojo, can you hear me? Kai's not good. Kai's not good. I didn't see what happened. We got fight the for the future. You guys fight for the highest bidder. Away. Away. Kai, let go your hand. Kai, highest bidder. Away. Tonight it was the telescope.
Complex, complex to the desecration of sacred sites. Oh, wait. Why you don't have one ambulance up here ready if you guys knew this was going to happen? Negligent. So, so, so public safety. You guys aren't really helping? Yeah. If you thought to help, you would have had an ambulance here just in case there were casualties. My brother right there, not back enough. Yes, Kayakua. Please keep him from desecration. Please keep yes, these guys Kayakua. evil vibes away from Ghana. Please take care of him. Yeah. Please take care of his Bana. Please take care of his Ike. Please take care of his Bana right now. Can I take that off? They won't take that off first. Can you cuff him in the front? Can I help him? Can I help? Double cuff him. Right, you guys still get them handcuffed? Yeah. Hey, Mr. Sergeant, how come you guys... Bro, why don't you guys unhandcuff him? What's wrong with you guys? So what, you're just gonna let him be like this? Can you guys take off his handcuffs? Where's your humanity? Take the handcuffs off! the front! We made the decision. Cold cloth. Somebody can go to the um, cooler and grab some water if there's a napkin or something or a towel that we can put on his head. That guy is so dangerous. But you know, can breathe. Come on. He's breathing. He's breathing. He's breathing. He's breathing. So, if you don't know him, you cannot say that. He's breathing so he can stay handcuffed. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you say, if you can run, you arrested me. I don't know. Why is it?
transport them to? To the police station. Which one? Kihei. They went all the way to Kihei? Yeah. Where's that at? Kihei? Um... No, they're a police station. Uh, is it like... It's right off the highway. No, as soon as you hit uh, Mokalele, it's going to be on your left. And once you get past Safeway, probably about another t two miles, it's going to be on the left-hand side. It's a Yeah. Okay. As um, soon as medics go, we're going to 10 8 with these two. Okay, what about? They're not going to fill out the back, right? Yes, no. Oh, why protect the corporate? Dr. 
cool Tita, Dr. Kalama Okai Nani Heo, who's manning the cameras today. We're coming to you live in beautiful <laughs> Ahupu of Ka'awa in the Kingdom of Hawaii. So I, um, I guess Tita had some questions to ask me. Being yeah. The, yes, go ahead. Yeah, so uh, one of the things that people are very concerned about is they wanted to know a little bit more. It was really hard to see with the video footage that was going on what was happening with Kai. And so you're right there, right next to him. And can you share with us basically the story that you had told me earlier? Sure, so what, what, is, what is Dr. Kalama talking about is um, when we, we went up to um, Makawao, Maui to to meet up with our fellow Aloha Aina Patriots to um, protest and to kue against the development, the desecration of Haleakala. So they were, they had the, they were bringing up the two last, um, I believe it was the telescope lenses. So we were there to, we were there to meet up with the Lahui and to, to, to stop or to try our best anyway. And so if you folks saw the video with Kai, you know, um, by the way, Kai is doing fine. He's a little banged up. Um, he's recovering. He's recuperating. I talked to um, Sister Malia Henderson um, yesterday, and she told me that he was doing. He's doing fine. He's resting up. But um, for your question, what happened there? It's well, hard to see. Well, we're all linked up through the PVC pipes and, and chains, and um, when the convoy started coming. And I, I guess Kaleko had broken free. So when Kaleko broke free, and then the cops jumped on Kaleko, Kaleko, and then uh, Kai followed. And when Kai followed, the yeah. cop that was right next to me and cousin Evie Ula, he was the first one that jumped on Kai. And he was, was kind of strong too, that guy. And he was, he was holding Kai down, but not in. To me, it seemed like he was holding Kai down, you know, really hard. And then maybe a couple seconds later, two more cops came. And then it was like, and then afterwards it was four. They were trying to subdue Kai. And Kai, if you know Kai, Kai is, Kai is not a, a big man. But um, they were holding him down. And and if you watch the videos, I mean, it was kind of dark. But I had one of the cops that had his knee on top of on, on the top of Kai's back by his neck and what and slam him down face first and you could obviously hear him screaming that you know he was he was in obviously in pain and he was screaming that he couldn't he couldn't breathe and then as you see later on he just goes limp and you know even though he was breathing he was unresponsive for like over over and half an hour because we all when the ambulance came and took him he was still unresponsive um, but in the heat of the moment, you know, to take four cops on top to subdue Kai, you know, and Kai is, like I said, he's not a he's not a big man in stature. It's like maybe I would say 150, maybe yeah, so maybe, maybe five, yeah. eight or so, yeah, around there, yeah. Uh, maybe less than five. Even. Yeah, he's not a big guy at all. He's not. So. You know, and it was really unfortunate what had happened to Kai, but you know. For me, being right there, it was, you know, they they obviously had 60 cops that came, you know, and, you know, obviously, the way they subdued him, I mean, it was kind of overboard, in my opinion, and you can take it for what it, what it is, but I was right there at ground zero, so, yeah, it was just unfortunate what had happened, but... It just shows the mindset, but I do want to share that there are a lot of cops that were from over was from here, from Oahu. That's from Oahu, and and there are a lot of there are, there are cops too that were you could see that they are sympathetic to our cause because you could see it in their in their eyes that they didn't want to be there, but they they were there, and when they were carrying us, when they carried me, you know, and I, I'm not a small guy, I'm not a small guy. And, you know, they actually, the first time they carried me, it was kind of rough. But then the, ne the last, the next three times they, they did was, you know, they're, they're okay. Like I said, there's, there's, there's some cops that were, you know, that were um, mindful of what were there. And you could see it in their eyes. And you could, you could see that they were tro troubled being there. But, you know, they're following orders. But the, the guys that were on the top, you could see that 
you know, they're all... They're kind of all, they're all, they're, uh, they're two different types of police officers. Those who are there reluctantly because that's their job, and those are the ones that we have to call upon uh, to, 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 to act in conscience. But there are also those who are there who are very ready and willing to hurt our people. Yes, yes. You're totally correct on that, Kalama. I mean, you could just see in their body motions, in their facial expressions, you know. So, I, for me personally, I chose not not to be confrontational. But you know, I was I was there already. I, I was I was strapped up. I was linked up, you know. And I was lying. We were lying on our backs, you know. And but I could tell that if you, you know, that there were cops that were there just. Johnny Bravo on the spot, you know. And so part of the discipline that you follow is part of the discipline that we, uh, that was trained and really kind of made known as a Kapu Aloha over yes. on, on, on Mauna Kea during the Mauna Kea struggles. Can you share a little bit about what Kapu Aloha means as far as the discipline of resistance Man, and cultural, cultural kind that's, that's a That's a very, very well good question, Kalama. And yes, Kapolo for for me, you know, like I said, you know, because in the heat of the moment, man, it, you know, emotions flare up, you know, and you know, to see your fellow patriot being treated the way, you know, and to hear your country men and women crying out, you know, it's it's hard to maintain, it's hard to maintain that that Kapoloha. but however, for me, you know. I knew that it wouldn't make my case um, stronger if I if I was to just come out and kue, and I wasn't there to kue. I was there to show my presence and to kako our our family, our Lohaina warriors on Maui, and to kapo aloha, and to just having that that discipline, it, it helped me. So there's a lot of people. There's a lot of Hawaiian words in that, and so some of the people that are watching are not actually from here. So can you define a little bit more about what kapu means and what aloha means? Because when you put those together, I think it really it really exemplifies what we're talking about here. For me, it would be sacred love. You know, sacred love for in our cause, for our Mauna Wakea, for our sacred places, for our people, for our aina. You know, malama ka aina, aina malama. Take care of the land, the land takes care of you. Everything. You know, our kupuna from our Kapoe Kahiko, which were our first people, they set precedence for us to thousands and thousands of years to trial and error. They got it, you know, and to be reconnected to that. So for me, Kapu Aloha, you know, having that sacredness, that love, that understanding that it's not about me, it's about we and about our aina and about our resources and, you know, and if you're gonna go out there and just kue kue, there's a time and place for everything to do that. But however, it was spoken that from from Anawakea to Haleakala, we, we carry ourselves in our highest dignity mm -hmm. to be to have kapua love, to have that sacred love. You know, almost like that love that a, a grandparent a grandparent has for their mo'opuna, or being kalama, we, we're both parents having yeah. that love for your first child that that you bore. You know and especially for a wahine, you know, so that having that sacred love and then understanding that, that, that deepness that goes. So, kapu aloha. What about our 2,000 years of history here as a people? What is that humanity about? And we're here to proclaim that we refuse to accept our dehumanization. And in the end, this is about our rehumanization. These are acts of resistance, but it's really acts that showcase our rebirth as a people, to stand, to speak, to speak our language, to dance our dances, to understand our history, to uh, practice our religion. And so, uh, you know, and that's what this is all about. You know, uh, and uh, you know, this is another chapter, a chapter which I think will showcase our people's strength, and as you will see in the, in the near future, uh, as I say, you know, the you know, Trump land better be aware. And the Trumpeteers better be aware because uh, that age is over, will soon be end. And you can look around the world and you'll notice what's happening is no different than what goes on the world. Whether it's the Dakota Access Pipeline, whether you see the rising up in Papua New Guinea, 
whether you see uh, the Africans, whether you see across the world, you see people rising up against this kind of crazed uh, greed and um, uh, glorification of, of that kind of colon colonial mentality, which wants to extract resources and oppress uh, you know, the poor and, um, and um, you know, and, and basically, in a nutshell, to exploit other people. That really that's what's going on here. What, what, Halakra is about exploitation. It's about those who have the money and power Yo. using our own police department, our own fellow Hawaiians, against our people. And so, you know, we, you know, let me just say, we have no choice. If I am a Hawaiian who believes in our humanity, I have not no choice but to stand as a human being and declare I am a human being. We have, as, as human beings, we have a right upon this place to protect our own, and to protect our own place. And also, at the end, we also realize we really have nothing to lose. All we have to lose is our own dehumanization. See, that's what I mean by we're already successful. The only thing we lose is our dehumanization. And all we gain, at least what we gain, is a declaration of our humanity in this world as a people, as a real people, as the Aboriginal people of these lands here.